Greetings, y'all. It's Matt from the Green Arcade. Back playing some more Farming Simulator 17. We're back here to Stancia Lapacho. We're working on Project 12, finally. And, uh, I've come up to the hill here, so I need to see where I want to plow and where I don't. I might have to move some of these trees first. I don't know. I'll go ahead and cut these. That one there, this tree is actually on that little embankment there, so I'm going to leave that one, I think. Hey, the ground texture is different here. I wonder if... Uh... Yeah, it's flat. Take a look at it. Let me turn that saw off. That's a safety thing. Okay. Uh, look at this. The ground texture is different. There's no grass growing here. Only these weeds. I wonder if this is plowable. It's pretty smooth. Looks like it's pretty smooth all the way up to this bridge. You've got the embankment back here. Can we go under the bridge? Looks like it's pretty flat up under the bridge too. I wonder if we can fit our harvester under there. I don't know. It starts getting kind of hilly over here. But it's still, for the most part, pretty smooth. And then it gets steep over here. So we might can do a little bit, but I don't know. I might leave that alone. Maybe make this the boundary where all of this... Uh, that's pretty flat all the way up to the bridge, though, right here. So I may have to uh, kind of cut in here a little bit. So you get to this embankment here. Just go straight from here, maybe? I don't know. Let's see where the plow lines are. Tell you what, let me uh, shut this off and go get the, uh, the little plow tractor. I've got it somewhere here. It's the new one. There it is. I had, a, I think I had a few little spots over here I had to fix by the ruins. So. Oh, yeah, there's another needle feature. Let me show you all this real quick before we head over there. So, I got this new... Uh, pallet fork and actually I need to get the log grapple uh, for the the Massey and see if it does the same thing but okay you can see how the camera is fixed on the tractor right well you know you can hit this button and go in cab right you got this camera inside the cab so you hit the camera button again and wait a minute it's not really fixed on the tractor it's fixed on the forks see I can zoom into them so you get a third camera option with these CSZ attachments. Uh, that would make it a lot easier. Let's say I wanted to uh, lift a pallet up. See, it stays with the fork. So if you really needed to zoom in on a pallet and uh, you know pick it up and work on it like this, you could. Um, I think that's a neat feature. It gives you a third camera angle. So, and if the log grapple does the same thing, look out. Hey man, that'd be pretty cool. And they have all kinds of attachments. They have uh, silage forks, manure forks, uh, bale forks. Uh, so yeah, if, if if you're interested in that, uh, I recommend the uh, the pack. It comes with a bunch of stuff, a lot of attachments, a lot of front end attachments for uh, for the uh, what do you call that? This thing, the arms. I forget the official name, but it's for the arms, for the tractor arms. Okay, that's gonna bug me. What are those called? Front loaders! Front loaders. Yeah, for the front loaders. So. Alright, where did I need to go? I need to go down here. I've gotta come back and cut these. These are these are on the return trip before we start uh Selling the logs. And then we get into Project 10 over here. See, I need to turn this way, don't I? I need to go in front of this field. Yeah, the heat's kicking on.
Okay, so this is where I'm at. I really need to move this tree. So I can see a little better. Let's see if I can scoot it out of the way here. There we go. And I got the uh, stump there too. Just kind of want to see, get right up close to this embankment and see where the plow lines are. And by plow lines, you'll see what I mean here in just a second. Let me uh, activate that and then lower this. So I'm just going to do it right here and come forward just a little bit. Did I not activate it? Maybe it was already activated. There we go. All right, and just come forward just a little bit and lift it back up. So these are the plow lines. So it looks like they go pretty straight. Maybe they angle just a little that way. But... I guess I could go ahead and make some more. Zoom out here and... Try to make a straight line. Not doing a very good job of it, but come on, tractor, get over. Trying to keep that one blade in that one furrow there. I am not doing a good job. It's, maybe it's straight now. No, nope, I'm still having the course correct here. So there's the end of the field right here. I need to stop right here and evaluate. So it looks like it stays pretty smooth past the field. Maybe up to the point of the sheep area. And then the hill starts right back here. It's still pretty smooth for the most part. Well, no, it gets kind of steep right here a little bit. And then we get to this embankment. So I'll have to turn here. Um, how does it go from here? Looks like it comes around this way. And it gets a little bumpy here. But for the most part, it looks pretty smooth. So, how far up this embankment can I go? I guess all the way up to this road for now. And then, you know, then some later. See how bumpy it is going down this way, though. Yeah, that's kind of steep right there. All these trees are in the way, it's hard to see. I don't know if I want to come up on this hill or not. It is a little bit steep here. But it doesn't look really that bad. And it's a lot better right down here. It's not as steep. Okay, I think what I want to do is get right up against the uh, the sheep area here. Hopefully the plow lines are straight right in here. Yeah, they are. I'm trying to set the edges of my field. Ooh, there's a tree. Yep. 
All right, so that this will be the edge right up against the, the sheep area. I'll get these trees outside the fence here cut because this is all pretty smooth right here. I don't know how far back I want to go. At least to where the hill starts going up. I think I see where I want to go. Just past these trees. Where it kind of starts sloping up. We're going to turn right here where these trees are at. When you start working with hills, you start working with issues. Mm, I guess I could turn it right here before it goes up. When does it start going up? Just right past these trees. Looks like it goes up right in front of them. Right where they're at. Mm, tell you what. See where this road comes over here? Where it kind of goes straight? Like right in here? This is where I'll make the line. It kind of comes out straight here a little bit. That line goes straight over. Oh no, stay over, tractor. Stay in the line. I'm just gonna go up this hill just a little bit right here. Just a little bit, just a tad. Maybe. And that way I can kind of keep it somewhat square. This will be the, we'll call this the max, the maximum something. Anyway, this is how far we'll come. So let me, uh, let me drive back down here. Trying to set the perimeter on this field before I get the trees cleared out. It's not as easy as it looks because you got to kind of work around them. Go ahead and turn the plow. I like this little T6. It's got a little more uh, power to it for this uh, small plow. At least I think it does. No, stay over. Don't make new lines. Come on, stay over. Why is it making new lines? I'm staying in my furrow. Maybe because I'm trying to turn. I don't know. No, it's it's angling. It's 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 wanting to go that way for some reason. Maybe because it's sloped or something. I don't know. And now it's coming back to me. I wish I could set a GPS course doing this. I really do and turn this on to keep it straight, you know? I understand you can't hire the worker because the worker, you know, they, they would just turn on Create Field, they would just go, you know? But give me GPS so I can make my line straight because trying to do it, you know, I'm, and I know I could follow those numbers down there, but they're not uh, ideal for doing this. So here is the corner. That's the corner right there. I don't I just don't know that see the slope it kinda goes that hill kinda goes up and down over there. So this is more of a at least maybe controllable slopes over here that you can actually do something with them. Keep that really straight, did I? It's like I came over a couple furrows here coming up that hill. Even right here. And 
And that's a bush I'm gonna have to cut out. Yeah, see it, it tilts the tractor this way. And it made the... Uh, I think I tried to compensate for it and it started to come that away. So let me see if I can cut these out. Mm. And then it starts to tilt back this way, which moves the plow that way. It looks a little better than it did before, but it's probably as good as it's going to get. I'm going to try to take a little bit of this edge off here. Still not working. Come on. My furrow's right on the grass and it's not disappearing. Or my uh, blade is. There we go. Maybe a little. Alright, I think that's good enough. Fields are not always perfect, so go down here and bring it around like I said I am going to have to cut out this bush here hopefully I won't get caught on it coming around this corner here coming around this corner I won't throw my blade out there too far either because I'd like to leave a little bit of grass on the edge of this Looks like there's going to be a tree in my way. Yeah, I may have to come back and... Um, yeah, I'm going to cut, come back and cut some trees out. This is why I like to cut the trees out beforehand. Boy, somebody needs a muffler. And this is where we'll connect the fields right here. Yeah, I'll have to come back and fix that. Alright, now you cut this tree as well. Hmm, do I want to go out there? Do I want to come out here with it? Yeah, I guess I could. That's a couple... That's a couple swipes there with it. But I need to cut these trees out. So let me uh, tell you what. We've, we've established a little bit of the perimeter. I can zoom in on it here. There it is. There's a little bit of the perimeter of kind of what I want to do. Um, so I'll continue cutting the trees along this. This will be plowed out eventually. Got to fix this little bit over here. And then clear these trees out. And I guess I'll come around here with it. Uh, I don't know if I want to come like in this little edge corner. I'd like to keep it kind of straight right here and maybe block it off and then curve it around down here to this field. Maybe expand it out down towards more towards the road a little bit if there's enough uh, enough room there. Looks like he missed planting a little bit there, didn't he? A little purple, a little purple bit there. But then we'll come back and get all the trees cleared out over here. And what I'll do is I'll come and bring that plow straight along here and then maybe put it at a 45 right here or something. Because this, well, I, this isn't 45. This looks more like a 45. I'll have to see where the plow lines are um, once we get to that point. So, let me uh, park this tractor. Tell you what, I'll just park it over here by the sheep. We haven't gotten into sheep yet. I need to do that. I'm probably going to grass in those areas that uh, are not favorable for row crop. And... Uh, start raising some sheep here at uh, some point very soon. Alright guys, until the next video, 
It's Matt from the Green Arcade. We'll see you guys later.